Hey, you catch a you catch a small mouth, you spot lock for a little bit, make a few casts. If you don't hit any more, move on. Move on. They're, they're all they're scattered all along this freight line. There's no there's no one spot that's better than the other. And how long did you, I think in your uh, I think in your article you mentioned that it's about what about 150 yards long, something like that. Or longer. Or longer. Okay. They sometimes they'll gang up on this very last point at the entrance of the bay, and that you could sit there and catch a hundred if they're there. Jim, I'm going to move along. Okay. I guarantee if there was a bunch of them there, you'd hit one your next cast probably. I tell you, a lot of guys got a lot of faith in blade baits. And the reason we throw a light jig and move it real slow, it, a lot of times a guy will they'll throw a blade bait on a spot and say, oh, they're not here. Yeah. Well, they, they, that's a big mistake not going to the next slower speed of a, of a light jig moved real slow. And if you got a spot, you just don't fish one speed control and say, well, they're not here. There you go. I felt that one. That's a smallie. You know, it's a beautiful day. You get to enjoy it with a fellow spoon plugger. And uh, so what, it's a little stinker. Look at look how beautiful that rascal is. Like I said, it's a hell of a lot better than sitting home on the couch. There he is. All right, Jim's on fire. On fire, those rock bass, they the got rock, nothing on me. Rocco's, oh, a little smally. Yeah. Okay. I like to see a few small fish coming along to let you know that the spawn's doing good. Yeah. yeah. I felt that one. You did feel it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, once you get a rhythm built up, that's that's real important. Yeah. You get used to doing it like that? Yeah. I felt him on that one. You would think is is as lousy as it's been, that the jig would outproduce a blade bait because of the slower speeds. Uh huh. But it's not. No. Right now. Or they're just not at me. No, they're not all lined up. And you do get some nice fish off this spot. Large mouth and small mouth. Nice one? Yeah. He's taking you for a ride. Yep. You did that? Nope. Oh, a very nice smile. A little better. Yeah. Just got to wait him out a little bit. Is that a pretty one? Patience, patience works really patience. good this time of year, too. Patience you know? pays off. Another decent one. All right. It's a fish. Another little smallie. Thanks, buddy. Jim, how do you explain that he was, uh, he was getting a lot more hits on the blade bait all the way down through there, and all of a sudden we get to this spot, and you're not getting any hits, and I am. Yeah, they want to I explain that. Yeah, they want to hit the I don't know how to explain it. That's why we throw a boat. That's why, yeah. This is such a good spot that you have to sit here for a while. It's got to work. Yep. This is the stopping point for all the migrations in the fall. This little point that sticks out and that one over there. They just kind of, if you go back any farther, you just don't catch much. You catch a few largemouth right there in that little bitty bay with the weed line. Maybe some 
small mouth. Now you let that sit for a while. Actually, he was on it when I tightened up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he hit it on the way down and I did not feel it. <laughs> Most of the time you'll feel absolutely zero. Yeah. Nothing. So then you go to lift it up and there's yep. a fish on. You just feel load up a little bit. A little mushy. Every time I move up a pad, you catch one. <laughs> uh oh, a little small one. How was your traffic this morning? Oh, there's nobody. <laughs> I was pretty upset on the way here. I got stopped by a school bus and I had to go around four Amish buggies. Amen. I was pretty upset. Yeah. I'm not used to having that kind of traffic. So how fast were they going? Seven, eight miles an hour? Yeah. And they, this large mouth in this lake seemed to be a little shallower than the small mouth for most of the season. Isn't that pretty much the standard though for uh... Uh, smallies, they are deeper than the largies. Yeah, large mouth. I would say, but not always. Yeah. I mean, look at the Great Lakes. Sometimes you find them really shallow. Amazingly shallow. That didn't take but a second, did it? Look at the color of that one. Yeah. He kind of pink. I just like getting water on you. Yeah. Nice <laughs> one. They're going. You know, I mean when the, when that the pond all of a sudden is going, you know? Yep. That's, that, it doesn't matter. When they're biting, they're biting. When they're not, you have to work a little harder. Yeah. God, you can't even feel them hit a swim bait. They just, they're just, it just gets heavy. You cannot feel it yet. I got a pink one, Jim. Got an old pinky. Nice. Nice fish. Are you, what are you doing now? Well, I thought you was going to make another cast. I didn't want to move you away from your rock bass. Hey, last, last cast. So I, I thought, well, last while you're, cast. while you're catching rockos, I'll fi fix these. I think that the blade bait is going to be more significant. Okay. It'll show, it'll show us where. I don't want to get out of what we're doing. And I think if we throw the blade bait, when we catch one, I'll spot lock and we'll turn them. Okay. It's not good for numbers game, but it is good for size, that's for sure. You got another one. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. All right, I'll make one more cast with this. And then we're going to put the blade bait on and do some sliding down this brake line here. I really feel like to get the most smallies, we need to have that deep water up against what we're fishing. Do you think there's any more rock bass snapping on there? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think there's plenty. That's okay. You got nothing? <laughs> I'm smoking. You really like that color, don't you? <laughs> Man, you are on fire. Fire. Oh. I got a rock bass on an A-rig.
Maybe. Nope, it's smalling. Maybe we are making a mistake by not drifting down through here with this. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think a blade bait be better. What'll happen is if we get to catching them on this, we won't want to put it down. You know? Yeah. That ain't monk. Ain't very big either. I don't think. Alright, thanks, buddy. 21 or 22 feet, I know. <laughs> I know I ain't up on some great big giant. That's what he's doing. You got one? No. Largey. Look at that one. Look Let's how fat they are. Let's get a picture of that. Pretty one. Yeah. We should get so a we're making one. progress. We got, a we got a chance to get some really nice largemouth too before the end of the day. A little chunkier one. It's been eating some stuff. That, that's a beauty. Thank you, Mr. Smalley. What you got there, Jeff? I got one, by gosh. Look at that little fat rascal. That's a fatty. That's a fatty. They're, I love smallmouth. They're, they're the funnest fish to catch. So what, this lake doesn't have a lot of giants in it. But, buddy, it's, it beats couch sitting. Any day, any oh, day. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You've been throwing a turd, haven't you, Jack? Yes. Yeah. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Isn't it neat that they're different colors? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just lost them. Too. Uh, I got it's a lot easier when you're spot locked to concentrate on fishing a jig real slow, you know? Yeah, right. Rather right. than keep drifting. Right. Uh, it's the same thing with anchoring. Yep. You know, I mean, yeah, if you want to fish a spot thoroughly, the best thing to do is anchor. Got one on the swim bait, and I bet you it's a taco. That's a good one. It's a smallie. I hit that one out and cast him deep. I'm going to say with nuts. What'd you say? You'll get. I won't be able to get a hit on this. Probably. Oh, you, you've said that with it. <laughs> you've said that for everything you've used today. You get a hit. I got a backlash on this the other day. Oh. Hal showed me how to how Bill Dance said to get out of backlash. It was the most incredible thing I've seen. Yeah. I'm picking at it, I can't get it out. He tightens up my drag and he puts his thumb on there and he cranks it. It came right out. I have never seen anything like that. You crank down your drag, you put your thumb on it, and you leave it just you go like this while you're putting pressure on it. And it takes your backlash right out. Really? Yes. I remember that. 
Not that I ever get a backlash. <laughs> I do. I don't get backlashes. I get professional overrides. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. That, that particular one was just a 200 yard fish. 200 yard filler spool. Nice smallie. Yeah. Ooh, wee. It's a nice smallie. Nice smallie. Oh, isn't that a beauty? Let's get a picture of that one. On this particular lake, there's shad in here. So when an Alabama rig comes into play. I know it's another stupid thing you gotta think about. Isn't that a beauty? Nice. This lake ain't got a lot of these, but when you get one, it's a treat. Another big one. Another A rig fish. He's not a he's not a picture fish, you know. But he's an Alabama rig fish. Yeah. <laughs> Probably casting in about 18 feet of water. I'm either letting it go to the bottom or I'm counting it down to 15 and slow reeling it. Okay. Real slow reeling it. And if they're real active, they'll follow it in. But the strike is so exhilarating, you can't, when they're really biting on it really good, you can't put it down. Some that's pink, some that's brown. Yes. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh, wait, what the hell? He came off. God dang it. Yes. Dang it. Oh, that's a ridiculous. Is this ridiculous or not? Yeah, no, it's fun. Fun. No, it is. It is fun. But I'm just saying, I'm getting all the rock bass. Every time I turn around, you got a smallie on. Well, I'm fishing for smallies. <laughs> I ain't fishing for rock bass. Are you kidding me? I thought that's why you invited me here. <laughs> rock bass fishing? Yeah. Jim, the rock bass, they're unbelievable. <laughs> smoking him right now. I am right on it. You're smoking him. I'm smoking him. Oh my God, you just can't do anything wrong. I, I just, I, I'm not even, I'm just picking up the rod and the rod. You know what? A lot of people would look at this and say, boy. Jim's catching Rocco's. What a waste of time. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. When you, when you jig fish, that is the best practice you can get. I'm not kidding you. It's the best practice you can get. Sometimes. It's that blue worm. See the 
Rocco's like your turd. The smallmouth like my Avery. He's not so big. Hey, rig fish. So is that what you normally do, Don John? To, uh, you'll drift this. Uh, you'll drift it like this, looking for. Uh, yeah, we locate the most active fish, fish. and then we slow down. And, yeah. And fish a turd. Not a Rocco, Jim. It's a no, Smalley. It's a Smalley. Bigger than the average we've been. Yeah, it's of. bigger than average. What I got? There's something for your video. You oh, know what that is? Eel. It's a lamprey. Oh, that's a lamprey. Look at that rascal. That's a lamprey. We're this far from Lake Michigan, and they get in here. That ain't the first one I've caught. I've caught many a fish that's got them on. Nasty, nasty, nasty creature. I barely felt that yet. It's been a while. The smallies are really hard to get out of. That's a funny better fish. Yeah, I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I don't smoke. Nice fish, Jim. That's yeah. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Very nice fish. See, we weeding through the little ones is worth it when you get a decent one. When you get a good one, yeah. yeah. All right, John. Uh, it's about time for us to head in. Yep. But uh, kind of give us a recap of what happened today, what we used, what we were fishing. Yeah, Jim and I thought, thought we'd do this and to give some of the guys an idea of what we do this time of year so they extend your fishing. And we, we fished like, we was gonna fish blade baits, uh, light jigs with the turd on them, and uh, swim baits. The huh? swim baits, and then we ended up in the middle of the day, we picked up an A-rig and caught a couple nicer fish that kind of screwed up our plans of sticking with what we planned on sticking with. And uh, But we caught a fish on, on Alabama rigs, a bigger fish we caught on an A-rig, and, and uh, they did not move very good today. I mean, the fish were smaller. We didn't get that many decent ones over 15 or 16 inches. But all we wanted to do was kind of give, a, give you an idea of what we do and uh, hope that that helps a couple of guys that want to extend their season. And you're talking about we didn't catch a lot of fish. How many fish did we catch today? We got uh, 63 smallmouth, and maybe a couple largemouth in there. And what about and the rock bass? We caught probably 50 or 60 rock bass. Yeah, who was smoking them? Who was smoking? Jim was smoking them, buddy. <laughs> he, he got on a roll. <laughs> but I mean, you know, the rock bass, when things are tough, the rock bass kind of keep you swinging. I'm not complaining. I wish we'd had a better day with a few more nice fish, but it is what it is. Every day is different, you know? Yeah, and even though you consider this a bad day, we caught a lot of fish. We did. We, we did. had we, we had action. Yeah. So uh, this time of the year, what was the water temperature? 
40 degrees. 40 degrees air temperature. We got a little bit warmer today. Yeah. Uh, close to 50 degrees, but boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, it was a blast. It's yeah. better than sitting home on the couch. Absolutely. And but, we learned something. You know, every day is different. Right, right. Absolutely. So, uh, John, I just want to say once again, thank you so much for uh, taking me out and putting me on the fish because uh, uh, every time I come out, I learn something from you. Me too. Okay. Me too. And it's, it's, it's and it, like always I, an enjoyable experience. The, the reason we do this is to help people out. They want to know what we're doing this time of year, and it's easy. And... We have some fun while we're doing it. We do that. have some fun. <laughs> you go fishing with duplex, you have fun. Thanks, Buck. Thank you, Buck Perry.